Yeah, so we've got uh, comedian Jeff Shaw, who you should have seen on America's Got Talent, but didn't. <laughs> because yeah, of- what a great year 20 and tw- 2020 is for performers, right? Right. Yeah, yeah apparently America had enough talent. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jeff, you can stay home. Uh, but you, said you, you actually had a great performance uh, and audition on America's Got Talent, right? Yeah. It was um it, it was it was a weird situation. They taped uh, thirteen comics for America's Got Talent this year, and only five of us were aired. They had a truncated season, and uh, I thought I was going to have a pretty good. Um, I had a very dramatic performance. Um, I taped on March fifth at the Pasadena Civic, where, where Van Halen used to play uh-huh. back in Pasadena. And by the way, um, when I was when I was in high school, I wanted to look like David Lee Roth. And you nailed now, it. Yeah. Now that I, <laughs> and now that I do, he looks like I did in high school. <laughs> so um, I, I did the show, and um, I walked out on stage, and they they mixed up my questions with somebody else's questions because they moved me in the order. Uh-huh. And uh, they said, um, what was your worst show ever? And I said, well, I hope it's not going to be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they said, uh, what do you want out of um, America's Got Talent? And I said, well, I would like to headline Howie's Club in uh, New Jersey. I'd like to get uh, millions of new um, followers. And I'd like to get some free hair care tips from Heidi. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, and then Howie says, I'll give you some as well. Oh, so what oh. happened was, is I killed, right? And yeah. then out of the blue, I heard this, uh, and Simon X'd me. Why? Why? Well, we'll find out in a second. And then the audience started booing him big time. And then Howie and Heidi were up on their chairs going, go, 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 go. And the audience is chanting, go, continue, continue. Yeah. And I was just so thrown. I was heartbroken. But then autopilot kicked in and 30 years of a comedy experience came to my rescue. And I delivered my closing bit like I never did it before. And 2,500 people stood up. Oh. And, uh, awesome. and then, yeah, and then I saw Simon looking behind him, kind of going like this. Yeah. And then they said, Simon, why did you, why did you buzz Jeff? And he goes, well, I didn't get his sense of humor. And I didn't think if I listened to it any longer, I'd get it anymore. <laughs> and then the audience booed him. They were going, boo, boo. And he was looking around, looking at the audience. I go, hey, Simon, uh, don't feel bad. Don't don't listen to them. I, I can take your criticism. I'm used to somebody telling me, you know, I'm in a relationship. I'm used to people telling me what I've done wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we like that. And then Heidi and uh, Howie gave me huge rounds of applause. I said, yes. So he goes, you're very talented. You could go all the way. And then we went to the new judge, Sophia Vergara, who was doing like her second or third show as a judge. Yeah. And she told me, she goes, I don't understand you. You speak too fast. You know, this is a, a international audience. Nobody can understand you if you speak like that, 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 and so I thought, okay, I'm going to think of something funny to say to make her laugh. And she was getting she was getting kind of tense because the audience was booing her. Yeah. And she said, uh, besides, you know, I don't really like stand up comedy. I don't watch comedians. I don't know comedians. I don't understand stand up comedy. It's not my thing. And so I said, well, I sure wish you would put that down on your application for the job. <laughs> <laughs> Did that win her over? All I saw was a beautiful uh, Venezuelan woman dive bombing onto the buzzer like an Olympic diving champion. Oh! Boom. Oh, and what, what happened was, is she misunderstood me. She said, she said, um, well, oh, just because I don't speak English doesn't mean I can't work in America. It doesn't mean that I can't be an American and work here. You know, people come to this country, they, they don't know English very good, but we can still work here. And the audience started booing her because they knew that it misunderstood me. Oh, oh wow. wow. And so, oh, wow. So then I walked off stage and then um, um, Terry, Terry Crew said, well, Jeff, what do you got to say about this performance? And I said, well, 
You guys wanted to know uh, what my worst show was. There you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, and oh, then, and then wow. Laughing. And then um, I was backstage going, what just happened? Yeah. And then I look and Sophia walks past me with her entourage and she goes, I'm a judge. I must judge the way I want to judge. Nobody can tell me how to judge. If people don't like the way I judge them, they, they should be the judge, not me, because I'm the judge. And I said, ma'am, you're one of my favorite comedic actresses. You're amazing. You're hilarious. And I was trying to be funny. There was no way I would ever try to offend you. And if I hurt your feelings, I feel horrible. And she goes, oh, okay. And walks away. <laughs> but, but then, like, can you go take back the buzzer? Because no one knows. And then, and then Howie comes up to me and he goes, don't listen to her. Don't listen to uh, Simon. Don't listen to those, just listen to those 2,000 people that loved you. I love you. I've been a comedian for 40 years, and you're going to be a big star. And uh, I think that you can work any club you want in the entire world. He goes, you're going to be a big star. Don't let this stop you. And well, so, there you go. That's all you need to hear because yeah. he's the guy. Well, and Jim, then, uh, oh, happy you're in Louisville, Kentucky this week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I said, does that mean I can come back to your club? How he said, don't push a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, but behind the scenes there for the America's guy. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, but I really thought that they were going to air snippets of, well, I didn't get on. They have me, I actually was on the show so I can use the credit, but yeah. they just have me like an interview portion. Oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And oh, man. Um, yeah. I but, love that story though. That is amazing. Yeah. Right. And so, um, and people ask me, they said, Jeff, were you like, were you, did, were you secretly pleased when Simon injured himself this summer? And I was like, no way. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, there's no way I could be happy knowing that he hurt his bike on, on a bicycle accident. But I tell you what I did think. Um, I, I thought that was the worst performance on a bicycle <laughs> I have ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> that's yes. awesome no but uh those people are great at america's got talent and uh it's they they they, they had to um truncate the season they did so many less episodes so a lot of the good yeah. stuff was worked out but it was amazing to be part of it <clears throat> and they're very nice to you and uh a lot of comics are even better than me didn't 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 get aired so um i don't believe I better? Uh, you can judge by how many empty whiskey glasses I have in front of me at uh, <laughs> the caravan this weekend. <laughs> yeah. so, Are you going to be dressed in costume? Um, yes, I'm wearing. Well, I'm wearing my costume right now. Um, this this is my costume. Um, I'm dressed. I wanted everybody to preview it before I come to the caravan. Uh -huh. um, nice. I'm wearing my. Um, your listeners uh, can't, but your hopefully the, the viewers of the of the video cast will. Um, I'm right now. I am dressed up as a creepy assistant professor at a community college currently on suspension for being too touchy feely nailed it mm -hmm. good job yeah. <laughs> i did some work jeff yeah. <laughs> but the thing is um you can interpret my costume different ways other people have thought i was dressed up as someone else like some people could look at my costume and go hey it's a low rent barry manilow <laughs> also works. That's right. so it's so like it's versatile. I love yeah. it. Or <laughs> hey, look, it's a white trash Rod Stewart. <laughs> or hey, look, it's the senior senator from Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> or, or or my favorite, trick or treat. Who are you at? I am Jane Lynch's stunt double. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I'll get a lot of mileage out of this costume. I'm gonna I say, love it. You should have people like, wear Halloween costumes to the club <laughs> this weekend? I feel like they should. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. This, is, this is a year to wear a costume because you can wear two masks now. Yeah. There you go. 100%. Awesome. Yeah. And, and the uh, number is 459-0022. Just call and make reservations. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a fun also, weekend. You can also check me out, jefftefundude.com. And my schedule's on there and a link to the to the ship. Yeah, that was my nickname on the cruise ships, the fun dude, because I worked for Carnival Cruise Lines. That's awesome. That yeah. would be a gig. Like, I don't know if I would ever leave that. I mean, you're you're basically permanently on vacation. Oh, well, I had to leave because um 10 years of working a hundred hours a week on four hours of sleep uh, 10 months at a time can prematurely age a guy. I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> 
And uh, well, my sense said, of humor. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah, and my sense of humor. They say you need a sense of humor to work on a cruise ship, but what I don't tell you is you need to have a sense of humor, but hide it. <laughs> no. I used to get in trouble all the time. People would say things like, uh, how come you're the only American crew member I've met on this ship so far? And I'd say, because I'm not a crew member. I'm actually the president of Carnival Cruise Lines, taping an episode of Undercover Boss. <laughs> there you go. Got him. Yeah, and then they'd say, uh, oh, I love that show. Where's the camera? Uh, hidden like the ones in your cabin. <laughs> oh, so make sure you stop by the photo gallery on your way off the ship. So you, uh, it's nine ninety nine to take it home for your souvenir video, and ninety nine ninety nine to keep it off the internet. Yeah, oh, there you go. Uh, Jeff Shaw, thank you so much for joining us here on uh, on the show, and uh, and we can't wait to uh, have you come into Louisville at Caravan Comedy Club, of course, four five nine double o double two, and then yes, come. Come celebrate Halloween at the caravan with me. Don't be a Halloweeny. Come see me. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, buddy.